Welcome everyone, this is Weems from Grow Up In Game, and I am going to take this pun with me to the grave. We are playing Tavern Tycoon Dragon's Hangover, and this is not the first time I've tried this level. Uh, I had a very promising first attempt, and uh, it fell apart in pretty spectacular fashion. But before I go into that, let's get things going here and see what we're up against. So the objective here is to get 2,800 reputation, 150,000 tavern value, and keep finances above 100,000 gold. And it says to expect frequent earthquakes disrupting your flow. Super duper. My favorite. So let's begin. As usual, standing clock first. If you're new to this series, uh, look at the description below. I will have an episode index set up where you can jump around to various points of interest in the episode. And so if you don't want to watch this initial build process, then you don't have to. Uh, but for the rest of you that are sticking around, let's kind of take stock on what the situation is here. As you can see, we've got a little baby room up front, a fairly decent sized room here in the middle, and a bunch of smaller rooms snowflaking out. If we look at the price structure here, we see that it's a 16 by 6 room for 5,500. And it's the same there. This one's 6,500. This is a larger room, 16 by 12 for 6,500, so some better value there. But this is the best, 16 by 12, 4K. We're buying that right now. And my strategy here is going to be we're going to have all of the staffed services here in the middle. And then we will have all of the unstaffed services over on this side. So let's begin. But most importantly, what do we do with this guy? It's too small to really be useful, right? Wrong. Actually, what we can do is turn this into our storage area. So something that I did previously that didn't you know, work too well. In the previous level, I put the storage area all the way in the back of the bar, only to find out that people had to walk all the way around to get out, and it just wasn't working for me. This time, we're going to kind of put it over here. And this way, what we can do is we can basically just pack these walls with all kinds of storage units. So watch this. You can flip it, put it here, flip it back. Like, look how many storage units you can fit in this thing. We're not even done yet. Pop that there, and we'll pop that there. It looks a little nicer, I think. And there we go. So our storage problem should be more or less solved. And it's at the front of the tavern where you want it. Things are looking good. So let's go to the staffed area here. Uh, I have been favoring the 5x7 kitchen. Uh, I don't see any reason to deviate from it at this time. It's been serving me well. It's flexible. And it just it just does everything I need it to do. So we're going to pop that there. And then we're going to get that guest, or not the guest room, the staff room. So it'll be a 5x4 as usual. We're going to put it all the way over here. So we got some nice wall space to work with if we want to put, say, a bar there. Uh, we'll go here, 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 and here. Slightly different than what I did before. I don't think it's functionally makes a difference, but yeah, I like it. It's probably possible to also fit more things in here, but you know what? We're going to go with this for the time being. And we're going to go set up a research workshop over here. Uh, this will just be a little bit longer. We're not going to go as hardcore. That's not where I wanted that. Let's relocate that. I'm not going to go as hardcore on research this time around. Uh, I, I really am just more interested in getting some basic recipes out quickly and then just kind of, you know, running my bar and eventually deleting this and creating more table space with it. Let's go on here get the all-important gambling done set up. So let's go. Actually, before we do that, let's get the restroom set up. Want the restroom up here, smallest that they'll let us give. So should I do this or this? Let's do this. And we'll go and we'll put the door all the way up here. And then one, two, three, four, five. Base in there, good to go. Now, actually, let's get the Express shop set up. 
So last time I went for a little bit of a bigger express shop. I don't think I really care for that anymore. Honestly, I just want this big enough to be big enough to not be a bottleneck. So we're going to pop that there. This here. Uh, it's a smart way to set up some display tables. Can this really work? Maybe we should rezone this. Let's make sure we can get at least two display tables. So actually, let's get the gambling den in here first. So five by five gambling den, I think will work just fine. Uh, if it doesn't, we'll maybe look into creating a second one or expanding this one. Let's go put this down here. We're gonna put the slot machine here. And I just want all the couches up. I don't, I don't want them to be, I don't want to kick people out if we start seeing a bottleneck here. So we'll have our six couches. Is there any more we can fit anywhere? Doesn't look like it, that's fine. So eight places for people to participate in gambling. Hopefully that will be enough for the time being. Let's get that express shop up. And this one, yeah, six by five, I think ought to do the trick. So if we go and we put this actually over here, it would probably be better. And we'll drop this here, which means that we can do a couple tables and a sign. Perfect. See with that, so the staffed services are handled. Uh, let's go to the unstaffed services. So this room was a little tricky to figure out, actually. Now let's start by making the godforsaken spa. We're going to do an 8 by 6 kind of like this. And then we're going to go and we're going to put the door actually right here. Spa will go there, or the actual bath. And then three of those three of these. I don't know if I actually need three of them. I'm just kind of assuming at this point. We're going to go over here and we're going to set up a shared guest room. And it's going to just take up all this space. We're going to pop that door. Yeah, right here looks good. Minimize the time to walk in. And we can go just like this. One, two, three. It's not perfectly efficient. But I can't really think of anything else I'd do with that other space over there. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. Here we go. Could I put that there? No, I can't. Well, this is pretty much it, isn't it? Okay. We'll roll with it. And then up here, we're going to have our archery range. Which will be, I believe, a 6 by 5 Actually, let's cancel this for now. Let's go get our gymnasium set up over here and five by five will do it and we can just set the door right here go here get a couple bench presses set up and our yoga mat we're good there let's get the wizards arcane study be a five by five and then we'll put the door right here put a couple of these guys down that there and we should be good and proceed and then last but not least let's get that archery range set up so we can actually take up the full set of space here and then pop that door down on the bottom. And we'll just set up a few targets here along the back wall. So I'm probably overspending a little bit here early on, but I'm going to make it work. Oh, we need a little more targets. So I'll set up a closer target here. And a further target here. I think that'll work. All right, well, we don't even have a bar up and we already need money. So I, I'm definitely overspending to start here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and take that loan. Uh, I'm a lot less scared of loans than I used to be and I'd rather have things configured and not risk the bottlenecks right away. So 4,800, we need to get our first bar up here. Uh, actually, let's get a little closer. Let's have it be closer. Faster to sit down and drink, the faster that things start happening. 
And we need our bartender. Uh, let's see, who do we got? Oh, he's fast. That the apprentice dealer. Ah, I'm not as interested in that. Researcher, that's interesting. I want someone that's good value that I don't have to pay a ton to. Uh, so he is very fast and lots of stamina. Uh, not as important at this stage of the game. But you know what? I like the perks. Let's do it. Alright, so we need to get our maidens set up here, and we just need to hire all of them. You know the drill at this point. Salutations. So they're all going to be hired. Research. Kicking it all the way over here. So they should be getting to work any second now. And then other than that, we just need, I think, a handyman to kind of just make sure things aren't falling apart. And we'll look into a clerk later on. Ooh, fast. I like that. So I think we're about ready to go. So, you know the usual step. Let's get down here. Let's name it the Hasty Loft. Let's spell Hasty correctly. And let's begin. Wait for uh, the ding. There's the ding. Nobody is happy. So... Apparently, this is a, a big opportunity that General Dion is giving us. Uh, sure doesn't look like it, going and being in an earthquake-ridden graveyard, but I'll choose to believe him. Let's go to our research here, and let's kick this bad boy off. Or do I want to wait till month two? I kind of want to wait till month two. Reason being, I want that fourth maiden in there. So, yes, finances are atrocious. I'm aware of that. This guy's just going to clean, I guess. And we're halfway through. Fireworks should be going off. And we're going to be pretty over leveraged early on. That's okay. The good news is we're basically set for the future. So if we can kind of clench our butt cheeks here a little bit and get through these initial few months, we should be in a really nice spot. All right. First guy is getting served. Money's going to start coming in, hopefully. All right, next month. Let's go slow things down for a second. Let's look at our maidens. Do we have any researchers? That would be ideal. There's one. There's another. They're cheap, too. I'm going to hire this one. And get to it, get to it, get to it. And now let's pop that potion. I want to get... I want to just get two recipes, and then I'll be feeling pretty good about going and setting up some tables. So things are coming in. Things are doing okay. They're going to the bathroom. Steady stream of people here. And you know what? Yep, we got our first guy that's hungry. We're going to set up a table for him. And we're even going to hire a server for him. So let's... Can I fit two here? I can. Uh, yeah. Mmm, that. No, nope, he's not hungry anymore. Okay, I'm not going to complain. Where are we at on this recipe? We're getting pretty close. So once that second recipe pops... And actually, I'm going to take another loan here. So I want to get a bunch of these tables up. I want them to get them at least sitting down. Oh, that's a bar. Don't need that. Cancel that. Because I know that food is a bit of an issue in this level. So we're going to get a maiden out. Oh, she is great, but she is expensive. She's great, and she's cheap. We're going to go with that. Uh, oh, yeah. Cheap and quick. And I want to make sure you're not researching. Make sure you're not researching. And we're going to go here. And actually, do we have any reservations yet? Second new menu item's up. This guy needs a raise. I'm going to give him the raise. We 
go to manage here. Let's make sure. Okay. Yep, this guy needs to raise. So we're pretty much just going to be only given raises as people ask for them. I don't really care too much about bonus or any of that. All right, people are sitting down. Mains are starting to get to it. Looks like we have... No, we had two of those, so we're okay. What this? Which covers faster, fast and recovers faster, and is underpaid. So we're going we're gonna to get you for the time being. It really is going to be about breaking this food bottleneck. If we can do that, then things might actually go okay here. We do have a reservation. We're going to take it right away. We need to get people to the bar. You know. Uh, what is he upset about? Oh, it's just because we don't have the food, right? Uh, lamb shake was not available. Rosemary lamb shake, sorry. Okay, so they're bringing food out. We're going to see a little bit of tick up. But we're probably not too far out from needing to get a clerk to go and set people up with beds so that could become a bit of a challenge how did we lose money there we go all right let's speed it up for a second until someone gets till we got you know a bit of a overload here so they're gonna manage that they're coming to the bar okay that guy's hungry but he should have a place to go Yes, we want that regular inspection. February looks bad. <laughs> new menu, new menu. Is it the lamb shank? No, it's the skewers. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I think we have that. We have some space here. So we, we're going to ride these three for the time being. All right, go help our... Let's get another maiden out here. Someone preferably super dirt cheap. No one's demanding a raise. Let's speed it back up again. Oh, we do have the lamp shank. Oh, we have that particular lamp shank. Okay. Well, the bar's full, so that's a you know positive step. I need to watch that bartender, though. The moment he steps away, I need to drop someone else in there. Uh, finances are getting super tight. We need to make some money. All right. That's moving along. Now, we're going to have a bunch of hungry people come out in a second. So, oh, he's drunk. But things are... So far, so stable. Uh, we have enough people just getting drunk instead of... Um, he wants... All right, so we need to get another table up here. That there. Do we have any cheap staff members we can get? Cheap and cheerful. Love it. Make sure no one needs a raise. Two people need raises. Okay. I'm going to move forward. And what do we got here? Bar is starting to empty up a little bit. We do have reservations. So that's seven, though. That's a little bit more than we have capacity for. We could do some. We could do three rogues. New menu item. Uh, yep, I would like another inspection. All of the inspections. And our poor one guy here, I think, is getting overworked. So let's see if we've got a cheap and cheerful handyman. We don't. We'll wait till next month. Okay, I don't think we can wait till next month. Yeah, we should. I don't want to pay someone a monthly wage in the second half. We're just going to let the puke pile up for the time being. Well, you know, we're going through an inspection. What could go wrong? I believe in this guy. You know? There's not too many people puking. Let's keep rolling. And before I flip the switch, oh, it's already switched. Okay. Let's get another handyman out here. Let's see if there's anyone a little cheaper this time. Uh, he's overpaid, but he's fast. And he's got potential, so let's do that. Uh, we got him at the beginning of the month. Hopefully he'll be able to help us out, but there's no one else that's really super cheap here. Uh, so we're gonna go, and how close are we to being done researching here? Okay, we got another one finishing up soon. So we're gonna... Puke is hopefully not going too crazy. Alright, we got more hungry patrons. Let's get another table in there. And we're just kind of slowly expanding here. Just very measured. Ooh, yeah. That's good stuff. She's quick and cheap. No one upset? That upset? Okay. Go, go, go. 
So we're actually approaching pretty quickly the point where we'll need to actually expand the kitchen. Is anyone really... Oh, more people are begging for food. Let's get another table. Yeah, maidens are the lifeblood of this level, it appears. Hunter one. How are you? Hunter one and overpaid. Hello. And the bar is kind of empty. How many locals is this? Six. That's a little, that's a little, a little bit more than the capacity we have for. Let's let it ride for a little bit. We're gonna push this forward. Oh God. Uh, is that really? Do we not have any cheap handymen? I mean, the problem is they're... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait till next month. Alright, I know you're hungry, but... Alright, now someone wants to... Yeah, they're looking to get out of here. To get to bed. Um, let's wait until the end of the month, and we're going to get that clerk's desk set up. We're going to take another loan. We're going to get earthquaked, and it's going to suck. Okay, that could have gone a lot worse. At least the guy that was eating is doing that. But we need handymen, like, right now. So we're going to pause. Let's see here. Oh, thank God. All right, he's cheap. He's pretty cheap, too. Anyone gravely upset? Nope. Okay. Okay. So they should help fix that. They should help clean up the puke, and this should catch us up. Thank God the bar didn't break. Okay, so with that set up, we need to take some loans. Uh, loan policy. Take two more loans. And we're going to set up a reception desk. We're going to hire, hopefully, an inexpensive clerk. Eek. What's this? Guess always tip. Alright, we'll do this one. She'll be working here. Now, we don't have any nicer rooms. Unfortunately. One thing I noticed about this level, uh, no adult men or anything coming through. It really is just normal patrons. So, people are getting fed. That's going okay. Is there any other dirt treat cheap maidens? It really is just a, a bodies game at this point. Uh, she's... I promise she's going to grow out of that wage. No, nothing, nothing really jumping out at me. Uh, let's edit the room. I want to set up that second table so that we can... Make sure we keep up with the cooking demand. Okay. So the other key is, I mean, yeah, I'm up to my eyeballs in debt right now, but I would rather invest right away once I take the loan than just sit here bleed interest for no reason, right? So if you, if you got the loan, spend the money as long as it's producing something. All right, we're starting to see... Money kind of stabilized a little bit, it looks like. All right, that guy wants a bed, but he wants a proper bed. We have no way to give him that right now. Absolutely no way to give them that. So we're going to let him live in limbo for the time being. Uh, it's Oh, no, he's, he, he just wants to be looked after. Okay, let's make sure no one needs a raise. So we're coming up at the end of the month. But finances are starting to stabilize a little bit. Dude just wants a bunk, apparently. Yeah, we have bunks here. What are you doing? Oh, bunks are in high demand right now. So I'm actually not going to take any reservations. Um, neighboring man... Okay, they're interested in trading. Well, I'm not, so I don't care. Give this guy a raise. This guy a raise. And now I just... Okay, we're getting some positive reviews going out. Uh, I want to just make sure... Confirm that the finances are stabilized. Let's see here. Oh yeah, good reviews coming out, good reviews coming out. We're clearing this first cycle here, so I just want to see how we do with what we've got here. Because what happened last episode is probably worth mentioning now. Is basically, I laid down a whole bunch of teleportation chambers to just try and pump this up and get it done. And 
uh, my services couldn't keep up and it turned into just a crazy train of bad reviews that ended me. Uh, I think part of it might have been a bug because they where it really got held up was at the receptionist desk and people just refused to even talk to her. So I, I'm not sure what exactly transpired to cause that to happen, but that seemed to be a part of the problem. Uh, but either way, uh, it was it was bizarre. It was unfortunate. Uh, let's go to our oh, not here. Let's go pay off a little loan. All right, so we got six k left to pay off, but we're doing not too shabby here. Again, I'm just working with what I've got already. All right, so actually we can take another. We can take a reservation here. Let okay, this guy needs a raise. No new menu items to develop. Fantastic. Let's let's manage that. Handle that first. Pop this over. Uh, they're all working right now. Let's pop that potion. Let's just get this get this moving. So we'll have this guy pay a visit. We're gonna take a re take a reservation. Uh, I want to take the locals. I want to get them in that spa. So good reviews coming out. Reputation management's going well. Uh, this guy wants to go into the gambler's den, which means we probably need to get a bartender in there. Do we have anyone that specializes in... Yeah, that'll do. Kind of sucks, but... You know, he'll work. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, you, don't, you don't do the bar. You gamble, and you don't improve me. You, you, have, one, you have one job. Oh, I'm totally facing that the wrong way. That's okay, so I'm going to go up to it. It's all good. So we should have our locals rolling in here any second. And people are just kind of bouncing around. Just walking around. Maybe we should set up some furniture. Let's set up a... Uh... problem with the furniture is you just don't have friggin' space for it. Could we do a sword in the stone like right there? Because th I'm not going to fit a table or anything over there. So we'll do a sword in the stone. Yeah. That'll be fun. We'll have that there. Uh, and we'll kind of... See if we can fill in the creases uh, as we add more tables here with just stuff in the middle of the room. Okay, that we need a clerk over there, actually. Please. Actually, that's not bad. 264 for a clerk that is considered overpaid. Uh, that means I shouldn't have to give her a raise for quite some time. So I'm, I'm, I can live with that. Let's keep moving along. Probably do an earthquake any minute here. Oh, F. That was a bad time to get a jackpot. Uh, do we have enough money to not <laughs> um, go into the red? We're going to find out in about two seconds. Oop, we are in the red. Do I take the loan? Oh, that reputation hit's nasty. Yeah. Um, just okay. I need to stop tanking this reputation. Just take the loan. I got aggressive, and I yeah. I just reputation matters at this point. Oh yeah, especially with the bar breaking down like that and an earthquake imminent. Take the loan, stabilize the finances, and we're just gonna kind of stop spending money for a second. Oh crap! No, we're not. We're gonna get a bartender because it friggin' left. All right, who do we got? Yeah, you do your thing. Why are people... There we go. Okay, they're starting to... So I wonder when they're kind of sitting here rabbling about it. What is he saying? Wait for a seat at the bar. We need to get that second bar up pretty soon here. So these people are asking for nicer beds, it looks like. I want to get through this month. Make sure. Okay, he's upset. All right, everyone else okay? All right, let's keep going. Go, 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 go. All right, we made it through the month. I would like to get a second bar. Could do the loan, but I think we're gonna have enough pretty shortly here. Whoa, whoa, what, what? So, like, what just tanked our finances there? That I don't understand. It's like someone's shoplifting down here. 
Wait, 180 gold. So, like, what is that? I don't get it. like someone stole from the storeroom. Well, I thought my finances were going to be better for that second bar. No, I, I need to take that loan. Need to get that bar up because we have a lot of revenue just sitting there, not being generated. Put that there. And then can I grab a bartender and move him there? Should I just hire another one? Probably just hire another one. This guy's cheap. Dang, isn't it? So he can start serving all these people. Yeah, I'm not even going to take any more reservations. Uh, we need to manage our current situation. Oh, crap. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Get some, get some more money. Okay. So, any cheap handyman? Yep. Anyone upset? Next month we'll assess it. Fix it all up. God. At least we got a few people served before that happened. We're in the red again. Uh, we are badly in the red. Take the loan. Bartender, are you going to get back there? Alright, this has really got to be it, though. Uh, we've hit, hit the earthquake. Two bars are up. Uh, we need no more nasty surprises when it comes to uh, our revenue generation. I don't know what's going on with the storage room down here. Why it's there's like negative values coming up. Uh, I will have to look into that later. Okay, money is coming in. Yeah, I'm aware of our finances. Let's uh, look and make sure everyone's not doing too bad. This person a raise, and that'll that'll do it for now. We're gonna go and all right. This was a good month for us. We're getting lots of money. I don't see anyone particularly annoyed, other than those handful of people that want a regular bed to sleep in. But that is just demand that we cannot manage. Okay, look at that. We made a nice hefty profit there, uh, and it looks like we need another table. Uh, we can take a small reservation. Four locals. That's fine. Do we have any inexpensive maidens? Ooh. She's not inexpensive, but she's pretty good. So I'm gonna I'm happy with that. Anyone still hungry? Kinda just watching for that food symbol to pop up. No, well, people just want beds. So what I kind of want to do is just create a whole nother kitchen area over here in the future. But I want to make sure this area is operating at peak efficiency here before we even consider doing something like that. People are eating, apparently people are eating a lot. Uh, all right, let's manage. Needs a raise. Needs a raise. All right, we're getting we're getting some stability here, which is good. I could pay down the loan, but you know I I've been bit a few times by that already, so I'm a little bit hesitant to do it. Not even on the list for Tavern of the Year. Super duper. You know what? Don't care. Care about my staff, my family. I don't need your stupid validation on your magazine. Sorry, we got a little bit a little bit teared up there. The hasty loft is very important to me. Uh, Alright, let's keep my eyes on the prize here. Uh, any warnings flashing here other than people want beds that we can't give them? Like, we could build a bed, but we're just going to destroying it. 
because we're already starting to encroach on the table space here. All right, he's still hungry, so let's get another table. Another drill, another table. How many maidens do I have? Too many. Let's better clean that up. People are getting service there. Sorry, wizard, I'm just not gonna... Ah, they just want to leave. Yeah, that little hike all the way over there. It's kind of a bummer. It's almost like these two should be switched, if I'm really being honest with myself. Because everyone wants to use this, and no one, you know, only a handful of people want to use this. So, that's one way to look at this. I want to get these loans paid off, though. I mean, uh, what was this guy mad about? Waited too long for accommodation. So I think we're going to run into that problem continuously here. Do I want to turn one of these into an inn? Yeah. I almost want to turn this one into it. It's the most expensive, but also the easiest to go from the reception desk. So, okay. Well, money is not doing too shabby right now. Reputation's okay. Well, people are... Oh, both my bartenders are <laughs> on break at the same time. We can't have that. Uh, we're going to have the tip master here. And he is going to do nothing but bartend. You have one job. Do we have any other uh, tip masters here? That are relatively inexpensive? Nope. Okay. Um, we can afford to expand here, I think, though. So, you know what? It's not the cheapest one to buy right away, but it is the most relevant one to buy right away. So, I'm going to buy that at risk of going into the red here. Let's make sure no one needs a raise. He needs a raise. And we're going to let it ride for a little bit. And money is coming in okay. It's coming in from a lot of different sources. You know what? I, this is kind of stabilized a little bit. Let's take another reservation. Let's go to the top of the list here. We can do the seven nights. It would be really nice if there was like a dashboard that showed how many of each type of patron we had. All right, I'm going to plug my nose. Please don't go over. Oh, I'm negative. Oh, but barely. We might be able to, spe you know, earn our way. Yeah, we earned our way out of it pretty quickly. All right, I didn't have to take another loan. That's good. So this is up here. We got a handyman going and working on it. We need to make a little bit more money so we can get some nicer accommodations. So and we're gonna start from the front of the room too. Let's see, is there a, a, a most efficient way to do this? All right, we got. We're about to kind of test our limits here a little bit. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. No, fast forward through it. We need as many paying customers as we can before that earthquake hits. All right, repair, 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 repair. All right, we can't build any guest rooms yet this month. Uh, we need to get things fixed up. We need to get people paying money. Uh, and then... Okay, let's slow down. Let's go to manage. Yeah, we're still kind of cycling in and out of debt here. Yeah, we're going to go negative for a second. Oh, oh, more in a second, it looks like. Oh, maybe not. I'm going to... Oh, come on. Just a little more money. We can take the rep hit. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to take any more loans right now. All right. We can take another reservation. Small one. Or six mages. Let's do six mages. We need those rooms up. Alright, clerk took a quick break. That's okay. Bathroom is getting kind of full. Yeah, so you see all this kind of potentially going wrong here. 
uh, imagine that with four teleporters. <laughs> I mean, we there were so many people in this bar that it was lagging the game out, and we weren't even... We could not handle all, that many people. It just wasn't happening. All right, everyone's pretty happy. Which is good. Revenues are coming in. All right, this might be the month. I'm aware that neighboring taverns are interested in trading. How's our uh, research doing? Are we uh, are we done with this yet? No, nope, more better recipes added up to the menu. Uh, a bunch of twos and threes and some ones left, so I'll let them keep going. Oh, God. I hate that. All right, we're going to get aggressive on the reservations because we need money. So that's just that's just how it works right now. We're going to go. Some more rogues. Oh, so we can do three. So we're going to stagger this. We're going to th do three now. We're going to wait about a half a month, and then we're going to take another small one to kind of load balance this a little bit. So we're going to do that, go back to our mail, and we got a small reservation. That's five. That's a little bit more than I'm interested in right now. That's much more than I'm interested in right now. Uh, we're going to have to do it. We're going to speed this up. Bar is just breaking down at really the wrong moment here. Someone gonna fix that thing? As long as they fix it before the reservation comes in, then we're okay. All right, that's good. Oh man, the money is still so tight. I'm not even spending money on anything. How is this happening? Let's see here. Yeah, right, let's get this guy. He can come visit. Wait, what? Really? A bartender. We have a tip master. Yeah, we got one. Ooh. He's kind of expensive, though. We'll get this cheap guy. I want him always bartending. Sorry, dude. Oh my god. Holy, okay. This bartender situation is getting dire. Anyone need a raise? Good. Uh, still haven't been able to utilize this investment at all because I just don't trust our finances right now. These loans are breaking us in half. This guy wants to gamble. You got room in the den, yo. You can get in there. Reception desk is there. You can do that. Okay, we're, we're starting to see the money pile up a little bit here. The, those reservations are bearing fruit. Let's see if we've got another reservation that we can use that's not as backbreaking. Three rogues. That's not backbreaking at all. So let's see. Let's take a gander over here. Not many rogues. This is definitely active. Uh, we just need more lodging, really. I think if we improve our lodging situation... Uh, it will at least declutter things a little bit. All right. Well, we got like, we have some cash, so let's see if we can get some proper beds set up. But we can do something like. Oh, I think I have an idea. So we'll do this, and it will be a room here, here, and. Can we afford another room? I think we can. We'll start with these two. We're gonna have to get kinda creative to use this space. But I have an idea that I like. Drop this here. So that's two nicer rooms. If we can get some people in there. Let's see. It. All right, we're not going to expand beyond that for the time being, though. Okay, let's uh, take a small, other smaller reservation. Four mages. It's beautiful. Make sure no one's upset. Now, all right, things are going a little smoother now. 
We're seeing lots of money come in. Like, at some point I would like to put up a teleporter, but I really, really... I, I am scarred by what happened last time. It, like, it, it is pretty remarkable how quickly everything broke down. Okay, so we got the first person going into there. Okay, so we need, I think we need one more of these. We can afford it. Let's check our staff. Oh, someone needed a raise. I, I missed that. Okay. Still pretty bummed out, but it'll have to do. So then we're going to do a guest room here. We're really just trying to tessellate this to make this as efficient as possible. Or do I want a guest room here? So I want to be able to do... Well, I guess that's the only spot we're going to be able to do something like that. Hmm. I'm going to let it run slow-mo while I kind of ponder this. Hmm. Yeah, it's really the only way to do it. So two guest rooms here. It's almost like... We're gonna have that there. What other purpose can this room serve? Are we seeing any bottlenecks here? We're seeing a bit of a spa bottleneck, but that makes sense. We can do a... We'll do another one of these guys. The shared guest rooms. Then one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's actually a case for building this thing one bigger. We'll see if that ends up being what we should do. I don't think that would really get us anywhere. Not super efficient use of space, but it is also not a super efficient space in general. But it should hopefully, oh, of course. Let's see how much of that we can fast forward through. Bunch of broken tables, broken bar. We don't have any reservations or anything building up, so the backlog should be okay. What we could do, yeah, we set that up, that up. Could we fit? Okay, money's doing okay. We're making solid investments and it's starting to bear some nice fruit. Uh, people are sleeping in those beds. Uh, let's just keep investigating the situation. I don't, I don't want to break my own back like I did last time. So that guy's waiting for, was that a shared guest bedroom? Another one? So we got some nicer ones here. So let's, let's investigate some options here. We could do another shared, or honestly, a smaller one with a reception desk. That would be pretty sweet. Um, although she's doing a pretty good job. Oh no, she's not doing a pretty good job of managing the inflow. Hmm. I wonder if I move this. And then edit this and move the door down a little bit, actually. It doesn't let me. That's too bad. Um, yeah, proceed. Can I slide the whole thing down? Hi there. Actually, uh, yeah, I want to I wanna do a little little shuffle here. I'm gonna drop that there. Can we move this? Oh, no, we can't. That's as far up as it goes. Uh, I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot here. I, I want to get another reception desk up. That would be so nice. And actually, I think I can. I think I'm overthinking this. Can I squeeze it in here? No. If I move this table, can I? Uh, move this here. And let's get another reception desk. Come on. Just give me a break. 
Uh, it's not doing me any favors here. Good news is money is actually doing pretty excellent. Uh, where could I fit a nice amount of these beds? And I could just put a reception desk up here, which is not the worst of ideas. So let's let's actually go with that plan. We're gonna go and create another guest room. That's like a three by five. Could I? Four by three. Could do two guest rooms, but I don't think that would allow me to do. Or could I? Oh, I can't even really do that, can I? Really, really want that reception desk. Yeah, I'll do one in a reception desk, and there'll be a bigger room, and that's okay. Three by five. Door will be here. There, there. Cool. And then set up a reception desk right in front. And we can even. We can even decorate this a little bit. Let's get a bookshelf. That looks nice. Let's get... Oh, a chess table. Uh, or not. Yeah, oh, or, yes. Oh, they're waiting there. Can we fit maybe, like, a, a bench? Yeah. Fit two benches. So we're just gonna pack this full of doodads because I can't really think of anything else to do with the space and we're gonna make sure this is staffed. So let's get a clerk. Ooh, went with the tipping variety. Preferably the tipping and the fast variety, which is exactly who she is. So we're gonna have to end up paying her some serious cash, but uh, I think she's gonna be worth it because she's gonna have to hustle. So can I zone her? Uh, I don't want her going to express shop. I want her there. Uh, uh, TBD, so oh, I guess they're going to have a third functionality at some point. Um, to manage panel, stamina. All right, good reviews coming in. This is about where I started to get a little bit uh, frisky last time we did this. So actually, let me just go ahead and set up another table. We haven't been taking any reservations, but that's been okay because we've been pretty good at basically monetizing everybody. Uh, so if we do that, let's go to staff. Or not staff, what do I want to do here? We want to take another reservation. Let's go to our knights. Eight of them! Let's test the system here. There's already one guy there, people paddling around the spa. Let's come on, just keep on fixing it up. So we're able to make good that investment. Let's um How's our loan doing? Let's just pay it back. We're done. Alright. We paid off the loan. Uh the bank got lots of interest out of us, but that's okay. So let's actually Let's wait for the month to end. Yeah, some people requesting raises, that's fine. Let's get some fireplaces set up. Let's go and try and keep people's uh, energy levels up. So we're gonna go furniture. Where's that fireplace? Purchase that. Uh, where's the spot I can pop this that won't get in the way of anything? Yeah, right here. So that'll hit everyone going in and out there. Uh, and actually, I could probably just move this clock way the heck out of the way. I don't even want it here. Well, that fireplace should go and start tagging people. I'd like to it to... Do I even have a spot for... Yeah, I can't even put a fireplace anywhere. Maybe if I did shrink this a little bit, I could have done the fireplace there. I actually probably would have been a pretty slick move. Uh, let's see if we can take a smaller reservation. Four is a smaller reservation. Well, let's speed this up a little bit. Probably do for an earthquake any minute here. There we go. Fireplace is doing its thing. Go, 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 go. So we just took knights, we just took locals. Let's take some rogues. Yeah. That'll be good. 
All right, things are going a lot smoother, it seems. So they, yeah, the se second reception desk is is working really nice. All right, money's coming in. Uh, reputation's almost at the point. I don't know what tavern value's at right now. It's got to be up to 150,000, so I still think we have some more building to do. Let's get a bird's eye view of all of this and see if there's any major backlogs forming anywhere. The toilet, actually, of all places. How's our research doing? Are we done with that yet? Nothing to improve. All right. Get out. We're going to demolish the room. That is a, a really dangerous misclick that you can make very easily, I have to say. I, I, I don't know if you can escape out of this or anything. But let's get another bathroom up here. Clearly, people need to poop. Let's do that. Pop this here. Two, three, four, five. Booth will go here. And that should hopefully help clear that bottleneck up a little bit. What other one we got here? We're almost getting to the point where we can kind of create a second bar over here bar and restaurant area. Or create another unmanned kind of entertainment area here. So we're looking at some food, but nothing seems to be pooling. So I'm going to take that as being okay. Oh, things are rel going relatively okay. All right. Of course, we're apparently not on the list here for Tavern of the Year. Not sure what I need to do to be on that list, but whatever. So with this up, we can actually probably just finish building this guy out. So we might want to do a third bar. Uh, actually... Is that we're going to be looking at increasing the number of people in here. I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm actually going to save it. We're going to call this uh, level eight. You know, going good. All right, we'll do going good. I'll actually spell the word. I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to I'm going to get a little frisky again. Money's coming in okay. Uh, we can afford... Oh, there's the earthquake. Yep, plow through this. Let's get this all fixed up. And actually, while that's getting fixed up, let's go buy this room. Purchase this. We're going to create that teleportation center. We can't afford it right now. We've got the room. Can't afford the teleportation center. Let's take another reservation. Those things should be fixed up. By the time the next reservation goes through, three mages is an easy one to manage anyways. So let's fix all this up. Now what we might find... Oh god. Anyone unhappy? Please no one be unhappy. Okay. And actually, uh, what I think I'm going to do after this as well is once we get through the month here, uh, I'm going to top everyone off from a happiness standpoint. And hopefully... That'll be good. Okay, so if I go here, I'm going to manage. Make sure no one needs a raise. Someone does. Two, two people do. Raise, raise. Oh, he's already topped off. Yeah, I want to get everyone topped off here. I haven't really done much hiring, so I think people are kind of stabilizing. We've already got some people that are sitting at 100. So they're going to be topped off. Topped off. It's like a gas tank of just happiness. Okay, everyone got a bunch of bonuses. Hey, we made it through our, you know, the first two years, this tavern. Uh, let's go take another reservation. Get some locals. That's a lot of knights. What about rogues? That's, that's a better number. And we're in a spot where we can probably put up another bar. 
Actually, before I set up that teleportation chamber, I kind of want to do a stress test. We're going to set up a additional bar. Actually, we're going to set up a table first. Let's let's get ready for some serious... Ah, you punk. Oh, it's because of the door. That's what's blocking it. Okay. So we're going to set up a table here. We'll put that there. How do we move this? I don't know. Here looks good. Uh, let's get another table up. We get the bar in here. Uh, where is it? In the, the other menu. Bar. Cannot. I'm going to assume that's this guy's fault. We move this up here. Ugh, cannot. What this? Oh, that'll work. Let's try that bar again. Yeah, a little green. Could have green this way. Yeah, all right. I'm I'm perfectly happy with that. So we're gonna do a stress test before I open up that teleporter. We're gonna drop these seven knights on our head too. We're gonna go and get and just see if we can get any more tables up. We can. Okay. I think that's going to be it as far as tables go. Uh, any other interesting things we can put up here? Like, I don't know, a fireplace to kind of fix the scent coming from it. Ah, it's a little too big. So, what about a chest table? Ooh, yeah, we can fit that. A chest table there. Uh, maybe just get like a, a bookshelf here. Can we fit one back here? We can. Cool. Uh, money's a little tighter than I realized. Okay. And we are not red. Not having loans will do that. So stress test is, I mean, well, actually, we don't know how it's going. We're going to add to the stress. We're going to take another smaller reservation. I really want to, actually, no, we're going to do a six. We're going to do a real ass stress test here. So we're going to just go, 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 go. Everyone happy? I mean, I did just top everyone off. So look, this guy's a little bummed out. This guy's a little bummed out. Oh. There we go. That guy's very slightly bummed out. I'm gonna have more coming in. All right, the wizards are coming. We're going to that third area here. And we broke the reception desk, but it's okay. We have the we have the backup reception desk. Does everyone want food? Okay, well, that stress test went just fine. Some hungry people, but I think if we add a few more maidens, that would do us some favors here. Preferably of the tip-burning variety, like this one. Make sure, well, she can't really do anything else. We don't have a research station anymore. Uh, let's get another, yeah, let's get another pair of maidens. Uh, do you earn tips? You do. Super. I think the two tables ought to be enough to do this. Yeah, there we go. So no one's really sitting waiting hungry, which is good. And that person is sitting waiting to get a clerk help them out. Yeah, they'll get there eventually. People are buying stuff. Let's go eye in the sky for a second. Uh, after I investigate this. Looking good. No real backlogs to speak of. You know what? Next month... Oh, we see... Okay, so he wants the gym. Gym is becoming a backlog here. So what we're going to do is we're going to build another gym down here at the bottom 
alongside the teleporter. Okay. We're going to need a little bit more money. This guy wants to play chess. Keep going. Keep going. Anyone want to raise? Want to raise? Oh, you're just... You're just whining. Okay. Let's fast forward a second. We got a couple rats down here, it looks. Oh, those <laughs> aren't rats. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to take a loan. Because I want to build that teleportation center. We'll do it 6x5. I think that's the right size. Um. Nope, it's gotta be a little bigger. Six by six. The reason I'm doing six by six is eventually I would like to expand it into two teleporters. For now, this one I will be perfectly happy with. So that'll run. And then we need to, next month, have a place for people to get their pump on. Unless we can, uh, I'm gonna take one reservation. Take some locals. All right, good. They're getting helped. So people are starting to come in at a nice clip here. Let's make sure things are managed. Okay. That's looking good. So. Stress test number two. I think we've got enough maidens. Of course, we're getting earthquaked right now when I need money the most. It wouldn't be Tavern Tycoon if this didn't happen. And of course, it was a pretty mighty earthquake. Yeah, I'll do. Uh, let's go and get that gymnasium set up here. Pop. Ah. About that there. People are gonna get their pump on. All right, and hopefully that will help clear any potential bottlenecks that happen there. We got a hungry guy over here. Well, that makes sense because our tables are all destroyed, and we need to sit and watch. This is not the time for me to go nuts on anything. Because th there are potentially bugs at play here. Like I said, last time it was mind-boggling. They would just stand in front of the reception desk and complain. They would not get help. They would do nothing. Uh, but so far, the system is holding. I mean, it hasn't been very long. Uh, it's very possible that as time kind of commences here, that we could actually kind of get broken in half. But, so far, pretty happy with what I'm seeing. Where it gets interesting is when you have to expand into more cooking space, basically. So right now, it's doing just fine. In fact, we can go and we can observe the fishbowl for a little bit. You know, but I want to see if this, if it really piles on. Yeah, the gambling den's starting to get worked a little bit. That could be due to the reservations, but that could also be due to just the new in inflow of patrons. So we're gonna, we're gonna monitor that one closely. So far, so good. The first bar is full. Second bar is starting to get some patrons. We 
we're gonna let it go for about another month here. I want to see where we stabilize at without any reservations. Because if we stabilize nicely, then I can just go and build that second teleporter. All right, we're seeing a little bit of a, a build up here on people wanting a place to sleep. And oh no, but the build up ended. Okay. That guy wants to look at a bookshelf. That guy hit the jackpot. No one needs a raise. Again, we're going to just keep monitoring it. He's bummed out. He lost money gambling. People are getting food. Good reviews are flying out the door. Is there any queue for the bed? He wants to go shopping. Some systems seem to be getting tested a little bit, but nothing too alarming. We're going to finish the month, and then we're going to set up that second teleporter. Let's look at the bars. Bars are not being tested. Food is not being tested. All right, I'm, I'm happy and convinced that things are stable. So next month, we're going to build up that second teleporter. I'm going to go here. I'm going to say edit. We're going to get another portal up. Perfect. Done. And same process applies. We speed it up. We'll first check, make sure no one needs money. You definitely need money. Things are humming along okay. And we're not gonna see for a month or two if the system is tested. Yeah, that first bar is not even full yet. Just keep going. Now while that fills up, let's do an eye in the sky. Bathrooms aren't tested. Uh, nothing, nothing being tested yet. Looks like that second bar is starting to fill up. Uh, so we're not going to see the downstream effects till later. Let's go. Let's watch the bar. Well, the bar broke. <laughs> That's one way to test it. And an earthquake. All right. Let's see uh, if we can handle this cataclysm. People are fast at work. Let's see. No one unhappy here. Yep, I'm aware everything's broken. Wouldn't mind having another handyman just to kind of manage this a little better. He's probably going to need some raises, right? Nah, he doesn't. He's happy. All right, back to the test here. Well, that's fine because this is giving in people an opportunity to pile under the earthquake. All right, third bar is full. So we are officially at a system test here. Let's see how this is going to go. Uh, anyone complaining about not getting a drink yet? People are complaining about not being able to get to sleep. This is what happened last time. This is exactly what happened last time. Look at the reception desk is free. The moment I built that second teleporter in the same room, it's like they just go bonkers. So this is, all right, this is disaster scenario. We are, we are officially in it. Can we undo it is the question. It's like the people coming from the second room don't know what to do. We're going to sell this. We're just selling it straight up right now. We're going to see if we can kind of undo this. Go here. The teleportation center again. It'll just be a 5x5. Five five. It's not a perfectly efficient space. I only want the one portal. That's okay. I want to see if we can get back to people knowing how to interact with the receptionist desk. It's like they forgot. Is anyone even interacting? Let's watch. Okay, they're interacting with that one. No one's touching this one. Request repairs. 
Interesting. So you, the moment I killed that other that double portal room and just rebuild normally. I mean, people are... All right, there we go. Now it's re-engaged. I don't know if that was the repairs that did it or something, but there is something fishy going on. That is exactly how I failed last time, and I'm starting to think it wasn't my fault. Uh, I'm starting to think that was a real bug. Uh, so now I want to know what happens if I go... And let's say... Let's sell this. Let's build... I want another teleporter. I want to. I, I want this test to run. Uh, but it's very clear. I need to do this in a controlled fashion. So let's do five here. Let's do... Eh, mm, mm. Yeah, what the heck? We'll waste the space. I don't, I don't really care at this point. This is... This is more for a learning experience at this point. Hey, get out of my way. I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna fast forward. All right, so we have the second portal up. People should be moving along. Let's fast forward it. We're going back to our system test. We're gonna stress test this guy. Uh, so far, no errant behavior. People are going and using it again. Uh, I, I am going to report this as a potential bug. It's very clear that some very strange stuff happens when you put two teleporters in the same room. It breaks something in a real bad way, especially when it comes to people spending the night. Uh, other services seem to be more or less fine. It's just everyone suddenly forgets how to, you know, order a room reservation, essentially. All right, so we're going to let this run. Uh, I'm going to go get that gym back up. Um, I'm sorry, my, my, my swole bros. I, I didn't mean to. Make sure let's edit the room. I just need to put this up top so I can put that gym in there. Relocate the door. Done. There we go. Gymnasium. That'll do. Put that right front and center. Actually, let's relocate all. And then we can do this, 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 this. Done. And we're at the lean on it phase of it, I think. No errant behavior. System's holding up. Uh, I think we can just plug and chug at this point. Let's go and make sure nothing's breaking down here. Oh, yeah. Look at all that money coming in. Let's make sure everyone's paid. I might have cut that one a little close. Nah, we're fine. All right, should we just ride this out to 100? Kind of thinking so. Seems we just we have the right balance of everything. Oh, that person, oh, no, he got helped. Okay, bathroom's doing fine. Heck, we could even take reservations. People are portaling in. Eh, let it go. Gambling den is being tested a little bit, it looks like. Uh, there's one guy, two guys. It might be... It might be time to set up another den here. Let's go ahead and do that. 5x5 five five gambling den. Put it here. Slot machine, two, three, one, two, there we go, we need a bartender, of course, you know what, I trust, I trust that everyone will go and take care of what needs to be taken care of, let's, uh, well, bartender already went and took care of that, super. Yes, people want to drink because we have no bars. That is something that is happening right now. Let's get another bartender. Like this guy. Stuff's getting repaired. People are looking to sleep. The reception desk was down. I think that's to be expected. Okay, no errant behavior. And money is flowing back in. It is really a race to 100k. So you know what? 
Uh, I'm gonna go give my staff some raises real quick here. Make sure everyone's peachy. This guy's not at all. That's fine. We'll fix that. Don't want unhappy employees. I'm gonna pop everyone up here and I'm gonna mute the microphone and we're just gonna let the sounds of the game hopefully take us to 100k. So let's do that. The sweet sounds of capitalism. Isn't it beautiful? Those bars are pretty full. Uh, I know part of that is the bars broke down. But they seem to be um, pretty saturated at this point. Uh, people are looking for food. I think that this can get resolved with additional maidens, though. I'm not ready to go and say up oh, definitely oh, what about you eh, I like you the best not because you're inexpensive but because you had tip and speed <clears throat> which is what I'm interested in right now yeah those bars are getting worked right now all right any what's the situation that guy wants to shop Still positive reviews going out, which is good. Again, what happened last time was it was a total system failure of negative reviews. Just it and just it was like negative twenty, negative twenty, negative twenty, negative twenty, negative twenty, negative seventeen, negative seventeen. I think it was seventeen was the number I saw the most. Like they were slightly happy about certain things, but then upset about other things. You know what? I'm I'm not feeling the need to really to really push this any higher at this point. If we get to 100k in the level, we don't succeed, then I guess we just have to go and kind of flash build some stuff, but are we at 150,000 here? We gotta be friggin' close, right? I can go and purchase this. I think that will add to the value. I've got a, I've got a few different ways to do this, but first thing I want to do is just get to 100k. Yeah, things are going real smooth right now. That bug from before, though, that does freak me out. Uh, I'm going to keep calling it a bug until proven otherwise. I know, I know, something, something innocent until proven guilty. But it did just freak me out that that would happen, you know? It, it's... It's such a weird thing where suddenly you build two teleporters and up. Oh, just kidding. I don't know how to get a room reservation. Uh, I mean, from what I understand, some of this code is pretty fragile, especially in rooms with like multiple levels or multiple levels with multiple rooms. English. Do I speak it? Eh, what do I care? I think we've got enough handymen to do this. We are at what month? September year four? Yeah, hopefully we'll get this done in about five. Alright guys, the uh, bookshelf is not the priority over the bar here, guys. Yeah, okay, so we're seeing a little backlog here, but it's getting cleared. That's the thing that matters. So I'm not super concerned about it. I wish I could see the tavern value. 
policy, maybe? That, uh, loan. Oh, I don't need. Yeah, nothing there. You'd think finances. Total income, total expenditure. There's the there's a balance sheet. Maybe admin. You know what? If we get to 100k and we're not done, uh, we'll we'll build an admin panel. You know, things are going pretty well. I don't got much else to say at this point about this level other than I I hope that I eventually gain the ability to put two teleportation centers in the same room because that would be really space efficient and awesome. But, I mean, I'm going to go look back at this video. It happened right after I placed that as people started to queue up. It, it, I think I'm on to something there. Let's go check everyone here. Oh, he needs uh, many races. Okay. Cool. You know what? I want to get this admin panel or admin room here just for. Where is this admin office? Just for that earthquake scroll. Tired of earthquakes, yo. Okay, that's open. Let's do that scroll of earthly protection. Is it worth 5,200? That's a good question. Will it, uh, <laughs> will the earthquake go off before it expires is the better question. Does that happen one every three, four months? Go, 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 go. No, no jackpots. I don't want to pay people money. Two thousand. Right. Pretty happy with this so far. You know, just for fun. Let's look at this from a different angle. Yeah, look at that. Let's slow it down for a second. <sighs> Beautiful. A wonderful little fishbowl. Okay, let's speed it back up. Yeah, I'm not interested in tempting fate right now. Ah, well, that earthly protection scroll is going to be a huge waste of money, it looks like. Can I, like, quickly buy it before the earthquake goes off? I'm going to sit here just on a, tr you know, finger on the trigger next time an earthquake happens. All right. Is this year four? Oh, Hasty Loft. Okay, 167. It just didn't highlight me. So I'm guessing that's my tavern value is 167,000. Uh, or at least I'm going to choose to believe it is. <laughs> because that's the only thing that makes sense. Um, okay, so I think we're there. So no, it really is just a waiting game at this point. Oh, so I guess I probably was on that list before. It just wasn't highlighted. So I was just choosing not to read it. I'm a, I, I guess I'm very visual like that. Uh, how's everyone doing? Was there someone bright red? No, nope, they were just told not to research. Finger on the trigger. There it is. Good day. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Ah, oh, I thought I was clever. Okay, people plowed right through that. Can we get another handyman that actually does something? That's great. All right. Slurp, slurp, crunch, crunch, slurp, slurp, crunch, crunch. Nothing seems to be going particularly wrong. I'm 
just need money. I might do, uh, I wonder if, I do wonder if loans count towards the victory condition. We're gonna find out. We're gonna just, when we get hit that, uh, 90,000, we're taking a jumbo loan. So did they just pick, like, the furthest away handyman to go repair that or something? Irritating. We're at 60,000, six-tenths of the way there. Apparently people are just leaving their meals there. I have trade offers from nearby taverns. I really don't care. Unless there's a trade offer that involves me getting lots of money in a really short period of time. Uh, I'm just really not that interested in it. Go, 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 go. Eat, 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 eat. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, let's get more maidens, actually. Any tip masters? You tip. And oh, you do tips. Hello. We'll do you too. Moving along. What keeps breaking? Much, 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 much. Oh, that guy's upset. That's okay. We can solve that by throwing money at you. It is my patented solution to all of my problems in Tavern Tycoon. There we go. 75. Go, 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 go. When it works, it just works. End of the year. Or, sorry, end of the month. Eh, it took us to 74. That's nice. Should I do the earthquake scroll? I don't know, I'm nervous. Honestly, I'd rather just take the quake. I don't, I don't know the interval. So I'm just gonna do this and wait. Got so many people just sitting there unserved. It kind of bothers me. Like, how many maidens do you need to go serve this guy right here? Why aren't they doing anything? This poor guy. No one is giving him any service. Er, request repairs. <laughs> Get off that seat. Well, this guy. You gonna get any service? No? Yeah, request repairs. There, now you're getting served. Okay, maybe it was the table is just too messed up. Oh, this guy. How's this table doing? Oh, she's getting served. Okay. There it is. And just like that, the table broke down. Uh, how's everyone doing? All right, they're fine. Fix, 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 fix. I do wonder if that's a thing, where if it's too broken, they'll sit but not get served. Kind of seems like it's a thing. So I really at this place, my, my whole game, since I can't click on Vincent Adult Man, I can't click on Knights, I can't do anything, is look for tables that aren't getting served. <laughs> and repair them. Uh, oh, this guy. Uh, repair. No. Well, the bar's full. Post earthquake, you. I didn't come to expect that. 
Like, how snooty is my staff that that table is in too crappy a shape for them to even serve it? They're like, nah, you can sit there, but I'm not serving. I'm not putting food on that. Seriously, How about you. All right, repair that one. Oh, oh, can we do it? Oh no, I, I waited too long. All right, we need to get above ninety thousand. We're gonna, we're gonna try doing a victory loan. You right? Oh, whoa. What's going on here? Repair. It might be a repair issue, too. Repair, repair. Um, all right, we ready? Uh, get it, get it, get it. All right, we're over 10,000. Let's go to finance. Or no, sorry, policy. Apply for 10 loans. Victory loan? Victory loan. Victory loan. Victory loan. It didn't work. I am now very sad. Oh, fine. Pay back my stupid loans. Okay, so it's a condition thing. Maybe I was losing my friggin' mind and it wasn't the double teleporter. I'm gonna investigate that later. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it. So close. So close. Ah, oh, no. Ah, didn't quite make it. Is this guy just <laughs> staring <laughs> angrily at his waffle? Alright, you need to get repaired. You need to get repaired. How are you doing? Repaired. Do I just need to, like, buy new tables? 100,000? Come on, baby. Um, did I win? I won! All right, we learned victory loan doesn't work. Uh, repairing things matters. There's probably a case for just selling a bunch of tables and replacing them at some point. Uh, and yeah. All right, we did it. We got two levels to go. I'm going to accept this new management position, but we will see what that looks like later. That's all for now. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it, uh, I'm going to put a meatball recipe in the description below. Uh, I, it's one of my go-tos. It's very simple. It's delicious. Uh, if you don't like the meatball recipe either, uh, then I did all I could to help you. Uh, you should probably just stop watching my videos. But for the rest of you, thank you for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a great rest of your day, week, month, year, and life. This is Weems, signing off.